Yes, I know. I did not want to wake up either. But we kind of had to, big dog. Kind of had to. It's part of it. We wake up, we do our job. We stop, we go back to bed. You know how all this works, don't you? <laughs> oh, I just poked you in your eye. I'm sorry. Come on, let's help us wake up. Where you at? There you are. Come on. <laughs> Jack, get me off camera. No, I'm not going to get you off camera. It's morning. Well, not morning, but it's morning for us. Got a little bit of rain moving in. Come on, keep going. Come on, come on. Got a little bit of rain moving in on us today. It's supposed to rain today and then uh, turn to ice tonight or tomorrow morning. And then turn to snow. Hopefully we can get across. Hopefully we can get loaded tomorrow morning and... Uh, beat some stuff um, dad's looking at the weather watching it real close and he's thinking maybe if we leave Indianapolis tomorrow and maybe take interstate 65 up to Chicago uh, then start heading west back to Cherokee Iowa we will beat the ice maybe he said we're watcher again today and we're see. come on guys we're in Timpton Iowa right now we're loaded up with our load of uh, frozen, I'm assuming it's steak, and then uh, we're going to deliver it in Greenfield, Indiana, run over to Indianapolis, grab a load that goes right back up to Cherokee. And it's going to be an awesome day. Keep going. I, well, I would tell you to get out of the mud, but everything's kind of moist over here. Come on, it's dry over here. Come on, oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's dry over here. There we go. Don't go in the field, though. We're going to stay over here by the fence. It gives you plenty of opportunities to water the yard. You about done? No? Okay. Look at that truck. Oh, first class is filthy. She is nasty dirty. Oh, man. It's almost like it's uh, winter. Or more like, actually, it's more like it's actually um, mud season during the uh, spring. It's 50 degrees out, so it almost is like spring. Gosh, look at that truck. That is dirty. And it's going to stay that way for right now. We'll get through this storm, then we'll go ahead and see if we're going to get her washed up. But I'm betting, yeah, we might actually try getting her washed up before we take it home. Quit limping. You're fine. I know you're fine. I know you are. You're, you're actually soaking wet. Yeah. Fun parts of having a pup in a truck. I'm going to have to clean all you up. All right, we're going to jump over here, grab some fuel, then we're getting on the road. Well, I'm thinking I probably really should have got fuel last night. This place has turned into a zoo. What's going on over there? Well, they always say everything happens for a reason. See that? That's Taylor right there, guys. Him and his dad watch our channel. And uh, I was going to get on here and kind of complain a little bit. It's taken an hour to get fuel and everything. But he, he made my day before I even started my day. Thanks, Taylor. I truly appreciate it. And it was awesome to meet you.
Don't get blown away. Come on. Yeah, you're not keeping up with me. I know I'm not. Woo. We're through Peoria. We're by Carlock, Illinois right now. About 200 miles from where I talked to you last time. We're trying to get over to this tree line right over here. That way we don't get blowed away when the next gust comes. It's extremely breezy out, but we did get out of the rain. That is some of the craziest weather. I gotta stop jumping over creeks. That was a big creek, man. That's like almost a river, right? Almost a river. It's crazy weather. February, and I'm going through a spring thunderstorm earlier. Insanity. In case I forget, we're at a scale. It's closed up, so when we leave it, you're gonna see a red light. Don't worry, I can run it. I wonder if there's any fish in there. Perfect day for ice fishing, really, right? Did I just say that? Where are you at? There you are. No, I didn't just say that. Way too windy. Ice fishing and wind is just miserable anymore. What are we sniffing? Are we sniffing anything good? <laughs> Dad, get it out of my face! <laughs> come on, come on! <laughs> Whoa, ice, ice. It's kind of icy. Let's just walk in the grass and be a good guy and don't bother my dog. We're gonna walk up and down this road right here, or just a circle. We're just going to walk in a circle for about five minutes here. Stretch our legs out. Let him use the restroom. Then we'll get on our way. We're going to stop again at exit what is, Oakwood. We're stopping at Oakwood just like we always... No, no, no. No. We're going to move past there. We're going to go to um, exit 36 in Indiana. What's the name of that town, guys? Come on. Come on, Kurt. Starts with a C, doesn't it? We're think of it. That's where we're gonna stop. We're gonna top the reefer fuel off on the trailer, make sure it's good and ready to go. She's been sucking the fuel down a little bit just for a simple fact. It's set at negative 10 degrees and it's been in the 50s. The steps about blew off the truck. He wants to come over here into the wind, so you guys get to hear some wind. <laughs> Alright, you might want the wind, I don't. I'm going back behind the trees. If you want to go over there, you go over there. Like I said, it's a good day of trucking. Everything's going real good. I got a story to tell you. Could you imagine me driving a school bus? I mean, think about it. Could you imagine me driving a school bus?
quick question for you guys. Those new lines we got on, I want to put uh, some covers on them. Now, all my other covers, like on the Freightliner and everything, I always use rubber hose. Like I take a rubber hose and I would cut it and then wrap it around. None of those hoses would break free or, you know, rub a hole in them by no means. Um, but I'm kind of thinking about just going with some good old wire loom on these. Would that work? Let me know in the comments if uh, you guys have ever used wire loom just to cover hoses to keep them from rubbing on each other or rubbing on a frame or whatnot. That W9 right there, that big blue and white beautiful niner right there, that's Jeff. Jeff is a subscriber of ours and he had nothing but cool things to say about you, Opie. Right there, you see it? That's Jeff. Jeff is a subscriber of ours. Um, he runs around Crawfordsville a lot. He's seen us on the road a few times. And he's yelled a couple times. And I remember hearing him on the road when he asked about Tater Tot. I really do. And he didn't hear me when I came back. I don't know. Maybe we'll throw another antenna on there, see if that works. It has been a few years since I got that striker tuned up. Maybe we need to do that. Okay, so we got the reefer filled up with fuel. Um, we're not too far from Indianapolis now. We probably got about another, probably about another 50 miles till we get to Greenfield over there. Then we're going to kick this wagon off. We're going to hook on to an empty one and then buzz on over to where we usually go. Over on the west side of Indianapolis. Don't be eyeballing my zingers. These are my zingers, not yours. They're mine. Yeah. I'll feed you when we get over there, okay? We're almost there. Plus, it's not even close to feeding time for you. Jeff, I forgot to tell you. I think I can't remember if I told you, man. Thank you. He was in the service. He was a police officer. It was just an awesome conversation. I think we blew 30 minutes standing there talking. I really do think we did. Great conversation. Now we need to get back to trucking. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you the whole bus thing here in a little bit. It's not as big as what you think, but... I just find it very funny. Bus driver Kurt. You stay right here, right? We've made it to Greenfield. We dropped our loaded trailer and we are hooking onto our empty trailer. I tried recording a little bit while we were over there unhooking our loaded trailer and that was a no-go. This place is kind of busy down the road down there. 
And then I drove around a couple times looking for an empty trailer, couldn't find it and seen that they moved them over here, which is perfectly fine with me. I got a quick question for you guys though, real quick. Do you guys ever get nervous when you're talking to a veteran? I do. It's, it's, a, it's a nervous, proud thing, you know? When I'm talking to a veteran, I just get so, I, I don't want to sound cheesy, but I get like goosebumps, like just thinking of what this man has been through, what he has seen and what, just, just what he's been through, you know? Here's the nervous part though. I have a lot of subscribers that are veterans on here and you guys have heard me whine or complain or whine and complain about this or about that. But then when I actually meet one of you, face to face, I'm nervous. I'm like, this guy has been watching my channel. He knows that I'm complaining about these mediocre, stupid things when he's probably like, man, this kid best zip it up. Well, we've made it to where we're going now. Earlier when I was talking about the veteran thing, I'm lucky. I'm lucky that Jeff, that gentleman that we met when we were in Crawfordsville, was uh, nothing but kind. He had just great words to talk about the channel. He talked about um, how I did the channel. It was, it was a critique. It was an awesome critique of the channel. And I, I just... I felt honored to get a compliment from not only a veteran of the armed source of the service, but a retired police chief. I mean, yeah, thank you. I it just felt real good, real, real good. And the run into Taylor when we got started in our day. Oh yeah, you're wondering how I'm remembering the names. I wrote it on my hand. I'm horrible at names. But to run into Taylor and to have him, and I think he said his dad watches the channel too. That's just flat out amazing. Taylor hauls jet fuel. Well, he hauls fuel, but then he just got done hauling a load of jet fuel. After I talked to him, the original place I was going to go with this video was going to be along the lines of um, how safe do you feel in your truck or something like that we were going to do today. You just got to go with the flow when you're making videos. 
and it, it wasn't flowing that way. But can you imagine hauling jet fuel? Crazy, right? Completely crazy. But he had nothing but great and kind words to say to me. And Opie. It's me, about Opie, about the family. Because great. And it truly just means a lot to me. You guys are just phenomenal. We're over here on the west side of Indianapolis right now. We're going to go in the cab, go in the sleeper, get some sleep. We're getting loaded right across the road over there. Get some sleep. And then we're pulling there, get loaded. I am going to go in and see if they will load us just a little bit early. That way maybe we can get out of here. The way it sounds, Indianapolis itself is not supposed to get snow or ice. But north of Indy is where it's supposed to be. So we need to get into a stretch from here to, gosh, the way it sounds, the Iowa border. Um, Dad's been watching it pretty close for me. And... Um, there's really just nothing more to report on it. Maybe, maybe it'll just be a fluke and it'll just blow over. He just keeps saying it's a really fast moving storm. So that's always a plus. You're acting kind of weird tonight, man. What's going on? You feeling okay? <laughs> you want to do the circle dance? Tail's going crazy. You're just sitting there looking over at the truck. No, it's not time to get back in the truck. It's really not. You can't even see it probably. All the lights are off over there. No, we're not getting back in the truck, dude. It's like 60 degrees out here. Let's walk around. Enjoy it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. That's what you want to do. You want to play. So we're going to go back to the truck and get your ball and we're going to play. Here, I'm going to go hide and seek. Come on. Come on, Opa. I'm in a tree. I'm in a tree. <laughs> oh, you goofy puppy. You goofy puppy. <laughs> In the wise of the school bus thing, guys, um, I always drive the school van whenever the jazz choir kids go to a, a competition. Teacher sent me a text, hey, can you drive the van? I said, of course I can. Because I love doing it. I love driving the van. And then he sends me a text. Does your CDL let you drive a school bus? <sighs> Schmidt driving a school bus. We'll have to talk about more about that later. Because he's doing some asking around on uh, school buses instead of driving one van because we'd need three of them in a school bus we could all put one on. Can you imagine me? I'm going to hold the camera way up here. Can you imagine me, not Opie, but me, driving a school bus? That scares me. Whew. Yeah. I could have some fun. Do a burnout, whip a couple donuts. You know, the fun stuff. I'm a dork. You guys, stay safe, as always. I'll see you next time.